So here we have our shoe so far. Uh, we have all the panels in place. We have the stitching, we have the lacing and, uh, and the tongue. And I think we're ready to go start uh, UV mapping this guy. Uh, first thing we're gonna start with, I think, is the saddle piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift H while in item mode. Shift H will hide everything except for that saddle. And uh, let's go over to open up this guy and let's go open up a UV panel here right next to it. There we go. And let's go ahead and open up the UV toolbox right there. Okay. Now I've said before, uh, I like to select my uh, edges uh, when I do an, a UV unwrap, but uh, at least uh, the outer edges. And by holding down the control boundary key, I don't know if that's 100% necessary, but I, I just kind of do it myself as a precaution. Uh, Moto used to, they probably fixed it by now, but Moto used to work better on unwraps if I had those edges selected. But anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, just try and do an unwrap on this. So with those edges selected, click the unwrap tool and click in the, oh, before we do that, we need to have a UV map to work on. And if we look here, we've got uh, a texture in place there. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to create a UV map named after whatever part I'm UV mapping. So in this case, I'm going to call this saddle. All right. So now I'm going to just uh, the unwrap tool, click once in the viewport and uh, should unwrap nicely. Now, next thing I'm going to do is go down to the very bottom here and select tool properties or hit the K key. That should do the same thing and bring that up. Just kind of pin that right there. And I need to change some settings in order to make this unwrap correctly. So let's change this to angle base, the method there to angle base. I'm going to set my iterations to about a thousand. Hit return. You can see that immediately helps to unwrap that a little bit better. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is instead of initial projection as planar, I'm going to set that to uh, spherical. And the reason why, as you can see right there, it actually makes a nicer unwrap there for me. And what that's doing is that's it's actually projecting the shape of the saddle onto a a sphere, a virtual sphere that's uh, kind of surrounding it. And uh, that really helps as far as this particular type of shape goes. All right, so the next thing we want to do is apply an image map so we can check this uh, UV map we've created. And I'm going to go to my UV textures right there, go down here. I'm going to select this rainbow HPNG and I'm going to enable. There we are. Uh, and we can kind of see now uh, it's a little bit crooked and there's some bending going on here. So we need to kind of straighten this out a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Y uh, transform tool and gives me all my translate handles. And I'm going to just move that up right about to the center there. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. Now I can pull the rotation handle out a little bit to give me a little bit more uh, control here. And I'm looking at this and it looks about right. Maybe I'll zoom in here a little bit and see what we're looking at here. Yeah, I'm looking at the top there. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna go to the fit uh, tool here, click fit, just use the defaults. And that's just gonna kind of fit everything within that square. And we're good there. Now, uh, the next thing I think we should do here is Notice this bow in the middle here, which is kind of uh, obvious. I'm going to use a UV relax tool. Now, when I click on it, it's going to default to whatever settings I had in there last. So they might not be correct, but uh, I'm just going to click on this. And there it goes. And I'm going to bring up the uh, properties. Hit the K key right there. And I'm just going to pin this up here. Now, see, we have a conformal at, at 1050. The iterations are probably the most uh, uh, obvious sort of control that you'll have over this thing. And, and they make the most difference in, in the uh, settings here. So if I go to 10, you'll notice that really nothing happens. So um, if I go to 2000, um, it's more extreme. So I'm just going to, oh, 200, <laughs> 2000, try that. There we go. Yeah, it gets a bit more extreme. Now you can see what's happening to the image on our map and it's getting a little bit better, I think. That's, I like that. 
I like that better, mainly because I see that the letters are a little more consistent in size, letters and numbers, and a little bit, just a little bit big on top and smaller on the bottom. But this bow uh, is causing me a little bit of grief here. So what I'm going to do is see with this interactive selected, I'm gonna zoom in here to my uh, UV map. And I'm gonna click and create an anchor point. And it may mess things up a little bit at first, but uh, you can easily lock down more anchor points and fix things. So I'm gonna click one, I think right about in this, in this middle area right there, and just click on it. There we go, I had to click twice. And um, it gave me an anchor point. And uh, let's see, I think I can just click and drag that up. And notice what's happening here is it's, changing the contour of the whole model here, the whole UV map. And that's because this anchor point interpolates all the way out to the edge here, a, a movement based on based on your iterations. If I have like see, 10 iterations, you'll see it only pulls a little bit. But if I have like, um, say like a 10, 50, let's go with that. It pulls more of the more of the model with it. So I'm going to put a couple more anchor points here. Let's see, I may have to go with, uh, it's not looking too bad actually. Uh, I think I'll try one over here. Now it's going to screw up uh, the other side though, uh, but I'm going to drag another one right over there. Okay. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and drag that back up. And you can see how it, how it pulls everything from one anchor point to another. And let's just drag that out to the end there. Get roughly the same, same location. I'm probably lagging a little bit because of my screen recording as far as that goes. So you can play with this a little bit and I'm getting a little bit of a, 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 a arc there. Let's see if I put another anchor point right here and then just drag that over. And that kind of straightens that a little bit. There we go. And I want to be careful I don't go too crazy with this. I'm going to do the same thing over here, I think. Keep it symmetrical as possible. And that's pretty good. I'm not, not hating this. Uh, I might just take this center one and go up just a little bit more. And yeah. As you can see, this line rides along this very nicely. It's slight curve here, but I can live with that, I think. And these lines are relatively straight. So I'm gonna call that good for now. And if I need to change it, I can change it later. All right, so let's move on to the next panel.